As I said in one of my previous videos, Rome is a city where you always have to look as if you know what you're doing. It's just the way it is. You can fight it or try to blend in. The choice is yours. If you're a young man freshly landed in Rome, perhaps you can find a tip or two in this video on how to avoid that dreaded straniero or even worse, tourist look. To keep the length of this video manageable, we're gonna focus only on how to wear white, or more accurately, a monochromatic look. Number one, a white crew neck t-shirt. I hate to break it to you, but Rome is not California. These are not the 50s, and you're not James Dean. Simply forget it. Don't, and I repeat, don't do it under any circumstances. Or you may find your date wandering from the safe distance why you showed up in underwear. She'll turn on her heels and disappear in Rome's traffic. Worse, you'll never hear from her again. White t-shirts with big graphics, though not underwear, are considered just as bad, but are acceptable on the beach. But you, as a savvy viewer of this channel, are expected to do better than that. Speaking of that, if you'd like to stay up to date on what's going on in Rome, why not subscribe right now? Okay, done? Here's some good news. The plain old white t-shirt does have its use as underwear, or maglia della salute, as they call it here in Rome. In that case, opt for a v-neck rather than a crew neck because you don't want your maglia della salute to be showing under your shirt. That California Highway Patrol officer look may have its comeback soon, but until then, keep the white out of sight. Also, some voices have reached me that the present generation of Italian women are not terribly excited about seeing that maglia della salute on you under any scenario. That leaves you with the option to undo not one, but two buttons on your shirt, which is perfectly fine after 5 p.m., as long as you keep that third button firmly in its hole. Next, the polo shirt. Now, this one really goes the distance. This will work with most daytime situations, hanging out with friends for one of those two-hour-long lunches or on the beach. Technically, you could get away with it when it comes to dating situations, but keep in mind that this is your entry-level solution. Your polo shirt will work just fine with your shorts, jeans, or chinos. If you're invited to your fidanzada's parents' home for lunch, her nonna, who's also gonna be there, will likely be unimpressed. So you may wanna bump it up a level. Next, the long sleeve polo shirt. Worn with jeans, it's just a notch dressier. Tucked in and worn with some proper pants will get you through almost any situation. Or you may want to try white cotton soft collar shirt with some detail like this one for a bit of a resort look. A classic white shirt, perhaps with some gray pants, is exactly that, classic. This is more adapt to workplace situations, but roll up your sleeves and undo those two top buttons and you'll be good for an after work aperitivo. From here, you can dress it up, switching gray pants for black, but beware, you may look like you're heading straight to a wedding. If you decide to dress it down a notch, just go for some slight stripes and you'll be fine from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. All right, from here, things get serious, black on black. I have nothing against this combination, but I'd say leave it out for after 9 p.m. Otherwise, you might look like a mob boss or a nightclub bouncer. Couple that with a pair of black shades and you're guaranteed to be thought of as outright ridiculous. For a similar but softer and more forgiving look, opt for a gray shirt instead of black one. So, sorry for breaking into you, but Rome is all about rules, providing you do give a damn. Sticking to these basic rules laid out for you in this video will probably get you far enough until you start creating your own rules. Have fun. Mm -hmm.